Hello, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome, cross watchers. I'm going to take a look at your situation with you and your person in mind. Remember that this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate for everyone. But you can always take a look at your other placements. You may find some messages there for you. And if you're interested in a personal reading much like this, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you guys. Okay, so let's get started. We have in the past seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up. There's been a temptation here, and I see that there, I see that there also has been um, a completion. So I see that this has come to an end. You are not, you haven't been speaking to someone here. I see that um, there was a third party interference as well but i get that it has come to a completion this is behind you and i see that somebody's been doing a lot a lot of thinking looking for signs i see that somebody has let go and has felt as though they've been left hanging here um i see that this is somebody who I see that you are somebody who is very, very um, attractive. You're somebody who knows your worth, knows your value. You are an empress here. And I am getting that you have closed a chapter in your life where things have not been moving anywhere. Things haven't been um, going forward. There was another person in the picture and I see that you have decided, you have realized your worth here. You have realized, like, hey, um, I'm worth more than being than being an option or a third party. And it looks like, to me, your person here is heartbroken. We have heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. So they're definitely in their feelings about you. Realizing they lost an empress. So, I see that they want to work things out with you. They want to put in some effort. They want to show you that they want to try to um, make things right. And... They're determined to do that. They haven't moved on. They're still holding on to you. They're still gripping on to you. And they are not open to other people at this moment. I'm seeing that they really want to try to work things out with you. And they really want to focus themselves here with you. And try to show you and try to perfect Things, try to right their wrongs here. So I see that they're trying to look at things from all sides. They've been, I see right now, they look, they feel like things are at a standstill and it hurts them. They're at a crossroads right now. So I see that they feel like it's un, they're unable to, to reach out to you. Some of you may have blocked to this person here. Um, but I get that they are looking at things from the, the positive sides and the negative sides. If they were to try to find a way to communicate and to reach out and wanting to work things out here. So I see that it really hurts them that things right now are not going anywhere. They're, they're confused about where they stand with you. And they're pretty much... They're pretty much feeling lost without you. But you're here spending time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. I see that we have Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus energy here. So 
it looks like to me there's an offer that you want to make here. Um, something that you've taken the time to think about that you've been slow on giving here. But I see that... I'm seeing that there's someone in your life that you are that is catching your eye here and it doesn't look like it's with this person um it looks like it could maybe even be a, a leo aries or sagittarius but there's an offer that you're wanting to give to someone here someone who you are wanting to be serious about you want to come to this person correctly so i'm seeing that you've you want to try to find balance here. You want things to be reciprocal and I see you wanting to give something to this person, something that you've been taking a long time to think about. You have taken the time before making that offer and I see that you are wanting to give it to someone who could be very different from you. Um, like the yin and yang, light and day type of situation. And I see that this is what you have your eye on. You're not even looking in this person's direction here. You're looking towards a king of wands here, okay? So we have the chaser. It looks like there's going to be some chasing. Chaser in a codependent relationship. Fear of abandonment issue. King of Swords, communication that's coming in here. Okay, so King of Swords, that's Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy here. And the Five of Wands, oh my gosh. Gemini. There is going to be a conversation. There is going to be a talk. Somebody is wanting to fight for you here. People are wanting to fight for you. There's competition for Gemini. So I see that the the world is in your hand here. You the ball is in your court. Okay? So the ball is in your court here. The world's in your hand and I'm seeing that there's going to be a a, a conversation about creating something more, wanting to be something more because somebody wants to fight for this, wants to fight for you. And I see that you're going to be a little bit conflicted about it. Some mental conflict about um, about manifesting something more in the situation or trying to work things out here, trying to collaborate. So I see you're going to be a little bit conflicted because now somebody is chasing you it's time to chase the it's time to chase gemini so i see that before it the this was switched but now now you are no longer being the person who's chasing you're moving slow and you have options because you are living in the moment and you're happily single, you're having fun, or you're spending time with friends here. We have girl talk. So I see um, I see that you are going to be having conversations as well with friends about what's going on. We have the seven of cups in your outcome. So it really looks like to me that you got um, you got options here. So you're taking your time before making a decision. Here, I see that there's confusion about giving someone another chance, but you are going to be receiving what you've been needing. I see things progressing. I see that you have multiple opportunities here, multiple offers, one um, that is going to be a huge change. So somebody here is coming back in wanting to make some changes coming in as a as a new person and page of this i see an offer again there's this offer that you're making so i see you're making that decision that you've taken a while before making 
to try to go with the flow of things. So it looks like to me, Gemini, that things are starting to move forward here. You're moving forward with someone in particular and you're choosing, um, you're choosing this person that's been on your mind here. So let's get some details for you guys for my Gemini's. Seven of Cups, that's Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio energy for you guys. And we saw the Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, and Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Okay, so somebody from a distance, someone's from a distance here. In the past, you've been dealing with somebody from a distance or somebody's just been very emotionally distant. Your person, they really don't know where they stand with you here. They feel like you're not that serious about them and that you have someone else in your life. I'm seeing that you're moving on, you're moving forward here, but I also get that you're just living your life. You could be traveling, having travel plans. Maybe you met this person while traveling because there's long distance here or there's been traveling. I see that um, there is going to be an obstacle here. There's gonna be a conversation that is going to be put in the mix. So an, a third party interference that is um, being put here so that you find clarity. And I see that you have an option that's a soulmate. I see things moving forward with a soulmate for you guys. So that's exciting. Let's get some last few cards for you guys before I close off this reading. I see travel. You could be traveling to uh, see, see someone who is a soulmate who lives at a distance from you. And the confusion is coming to an end here. You're receiving the clarity that you've been needing. Okay, so it looks like to me, for some of you, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek here. It's a past life relationship. You have known each other before, so it looks like it's somebody from your past here. Um, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So I see that this could be the third party interference here. And this person is wondering if you have someone new in your life. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And I see that stay, we have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So... I see that somebody's been having a hard time before trying to stay positive, but that is in the past. And I see this person, has, you have stirred romantic feelings all over again in this person. Or this could also just be somebody who is um, from your recent past, somebody who's also recent in your life. So um, if that makes sense. But that's what I'm getting for you. If you like this reading, please comment, like, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you can be updated for future videos. Let me know if it resonated. And I hope that you found some guidance or clarity in your situation. And thank you for watching. Bye.